brothers and sisters of the Royal Assembly, I present to you the Reverend Randolph Martin. But you can do better than that. You can do better than that. Yes, yes, yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. Unto the most high God. Can you say praise the Lord? You know, I love people who can shout in the house of God. Amen. The Bible says, let the redeem of the Lord. Are you people here, please? The, the Bible said, the Lord God Almighty is gone up with a what? A shout. Amen. How many of you want God to go up today? Amen. The, the Bible declares that God shall arise and the enemy will what? Can you lift up your voice one more time and shout hallelujah? Come on, shout it, shout it, shout it. I want to hear the foundation say, come on, shout hallelujah. I, I am so honored and privileged. This is become a family. It's not no more friends. We, we honor you guys. And I'm so glad to my senior brother and my senior sister for what they are doing in the house. I'm honored to serve you. I always tell him that anytime you call me, even if you want me to usher, I'll come and do it. I hold him in such high esteem because nowadays it's very few men of God whose word is their bond and their lifestyle authenticates their message. Amen? So I just thank God for the man of God. Can you put your hands together for your pastor, your father? Oh, hallelujah. And, and I want us to also acknowledge the precious wife. Sometimes it's easy for us to acknowledge the pastor, but we forget that without the help meet, purposes will be thwarted. Amen? So put your hands together for the first lady of the house. Where bless God. Hallelujah. Can you all stand on your feet for a minute, please? Just bear with me. Just bear with me for a minute. Can you just hold your hands together? One thing about me, I'm not a good puppeteer. I'm not called to, to uh, show forth human demonstrations. I love if the Holy Ghost doesn't move me, I have nothing to say. So can you close your eyes please for a minute and, and just begin to pray that God, we, we demand we plead with you that what is written in heaven concerning us today we shall grasp it. We, we want something that man cannot articulate. Pick it up for me. Thank you so much. Come on, come on, lift up your voice. Can I hear prayers lifting up in this place? Come on, lift up your voice. And I cry unto Jesus. Father, we pray in the Holy Ghost. The Lama Lana Masenka Pandoria. Mere Kama Pandori Base. Kele Mana Masete. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. We pray that the man. We pray that heaven will kiss the head. That we shall tap, we shall enter, we shall grasp. Oh Jehovah, yeah, never say that today. Malaba kabatondori. Come on, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, and put the demand as a chase. Walk this place, manifest in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus, Malika bandori banana. So break a head. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Malema Kantore de de Basia Rabasia. You are worthy, Lord Jesus. The saints are gathered, O Lord. Great are you in the congregation of the mighty. Your name shall be feared among the righteous. Mighty, terrible God, awesome one of Israel, covenant keeping God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We call upon your name because you don't change. You don't change, oh Lord. And today we pray that we don't just want to hear words of a human being. 
We want your words to be amplified and empowered our soul. Our purpose today will be released from every bondage, every encumbrance, and impediment, and limitations shall be removed. Father, we pray that every mental myopia will be destroyed. We pray that you will lift us up, O oh God. Speak, Lord. We ask you, Jesus, do a strange thing. We all touch and agree. And we say amen. Put your hands together for Jesus and turn your Bibles with me, please. Turn your Bibles with me to Luke chapter 4. I'm reading from verse 16. Luke chapter 4, verse 16. The Bible says, And he, Jesus, came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. I want you to underline that he had been brought up. As his custom was, Jesus had a custom. Custom is not bad if it's in line with the tradition of his word. Amen. As his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Ezekiel. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the broken hearted to preach deliverance to the captive recovering of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord and he closed the book he gave it again unto the minister and sat down and the eyes of them that were in the synagogue were fastened on him and he began to say unto them this day is this scripture fulfilled in your ears and all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words we proceeded out of his mouth when he said it's not this Joseph's son I want you to underline that and he said unto them you, shall, you will surely say unto me this prophet for physician heal thyself whatsoever we have heard done in Capernaum do also here in that country and he said, Verily, I say unto you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I say, I tell you of a truth, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elias, when the heavens were shut up three years and six months, when great famine was throughout all the land, but unto none of them was Elias sent, save unto Zarephath, a city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow. Tell your Bibles with me again to First Kings. I just want to read the Bible. I love the word. Tell somebody say you need to love the word. Now can say you confess. Say you need to love God's word. First Kings chapter seventeen. Let's be quick because I just want to read the word and we just get into it. Amen. First Kings chapter seventeen. One. I'm reading from verse one. The Bible says, "And Elijah the Tishbite was of the inhabitants of Gilead." said unto Ahab, as the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain this year, but according to my word. And the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hands, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there. I want you to circle the word there. Circle it. Feed it there. So he went and did according to unto the word of the Lord. For he went and dwelt by the brood cherub, that is before Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening. And he drank of the brook. And it came to pass after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land and the word of the Lord came unto him saying arise get thee to Zarephath we belong to Sidon and to where the behold I have commanded a widow commanded a widow woman there to sustain the and the land sustain so he arose and went to Zarephath and when he came to the gate of the city behold the widow woman was there gathering of sticks I want you to underline gathering of sticks and he called unto her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in the verset, and I'm a drink. And as he was going to fetch it, he called to her and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in thy hand. And she said, As the Lord that, that God liveth, 
I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, and a little oil in a cruise. And behold, I am gathering two sticks, two sticks, that I may go in and dress it for my for me and my son, that we may eat it and die, and then I eat and die. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not. Tell somebody say, Fear not. Come and say it again, say fear not. Say it one more time, say fear not. He said, Fear not, go and do as thou hast said. But make me thereof a little cake first. Second away first. And bring it unto me. And after I make for thee and for thy son. For thus saith the Lord God of Israel. The barrel of milk shall not waste. Neither shall the cruise of oil fulfill. Until the day that the Lord send it rain upon the earth. And she went and did according to the saying of Elijah. And she and he and her house. They eat many days, and the barrel of me wasted not. Neither did the cruise of oil you fill, according to the word which is spake by Elijah. Lift up your right hand with me again and say, Jesus, let me behold your countenance. Come and say it again, say, Jesus, let me behold your countenance. 